Hello everyone, Michelle here from Acrylic Mixology Art. Back for another um, pearlescent pour. Put this time on a white base with uh, some black puddles and then the pearl paints on top of that. Let's see what we can can pull out. Just spreading the paint, thinning it out a little bit. So it's not one big globby chunk. Something in this. Let's zoom out. Hmm. All right. Let me pop. I just mix this white up. Didn't have enough. The paints are about three to one, maybe a little more, just kind of depending on the color. Try not to get these all uniform, but sometimes it's hard. I'm not worried about the black dribbles. I do think that will just blend it all together. But I am going to need to get some more paint. I have it in a big jug. So I pour it in this cup to kind of help. But Should be enough to get us through. All right, I think that is all I need. All right, um, here's Violet. I do want to keep some black around the white. So I'm trying not to pour too much like I just did there. Um, there, that's what I should be doing like that, but always get a little heavy handed, you know.
All right, that was the blue, so let's do some gold. Here's the green. Here is the red. So I'm really hoping these are not too far apart. Um, and with the, um, the black stains, kind of encases them to outline them some. So. Who is that? Sarah Mack that does uh, slapsticks? Slapstick or something? Kind of, kind of feels like what I'm doing right now. I'm just like slapping the paint everywhere. Or maybe it's um, Mina that does the... Oh, I can't think of the word she uses. She kind of launches the paint from a distance. I think it's an Irish word she uses to describe it. Anyhow. Ah. Whoops. Oopsies. All right. I'm going to move these out of the way, because if I don't, there will be paint in them. I guess I'll add a little bit of white to my edges. Enough to help it maybe flow just a touch and not, you know, run over itself. <clears throat> I'm hoping this turns out like my uh, my other uh, rivers, I'll say. I'm not a fan of the geometric patterns, like the chevrons and that kind of thing. I never have been, so 
I'm really not surprised. That design isn't something that I care for, so. All right, let's pour, or let's move this around. See what we got. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm gonna go this way. Interesting colors. I don't think I'm going to like this one quite as much as I do on the black for the simple reason that some of the pearl colors that are in the painting, I can't really see them. I can see them, the shimmer of them um, through the camera, but you could, I mean, you could definitely see it. It's just not going to show up i don't think oh my gosh i did not wreck this dang it you know what hmm i can't believe i didn't do that why didn't y'all tell me you didn't wreck it michelle egg no gosh darn it and i did that yesterday too there's this whole video thing I'm, I'm more worried about trying to talk in the video because, you know, everybody talks. And I am trying to figure out what I'm doing with my paint. Well, now I'm cranky. I can't, now I look like I just got, like, splashed rocks. <sighs> I don't think it matters if I wreck it at this point. Hey, yay. Hey, hey. I guess I could do a little wrecking, maybe. I can't believe I did that. I guess it looks like it'll... Dang it, I'm just so pissed. I'm scraping it. I'm just going to do it again. I don't have much choice at this point. Ugh. This is not going to matter. Oh, what the hell?
that sucks. I will be able to use all this paint as a you know, flow extender or something. No biggie. It's not, not a huge waste. Well, it kind of is, but whatever. I'm going to mix up some more white paint, because I don't have any. And then I'm going to come back. Try this again. Okay, I'm back. White and all. I didn't like size. Um, they'll get covered up again anyways. Not, not too concerned with that at all. I can't believe I did that. The paint I scraped up, I will just use it as a flow extender on something. You know, not too concerned with it. I mean, it's, it sucks and it's disappointing, but the alternate is to let it dry and look at it and know I'm not really going to like it. And it's much easier to use a canvas or, or reuse, I say reuse a canvas um, when it's wet. Or, or when there's no paint. You know what I mean? It's much harder to paint over something that's already been painted on. I'll say it that way. So, I, I mean, I know me. I know I'm not going to like it. So, that's why I just went ahead and scraped it. So, what I'm going to do, so this video won't be a gazillion hours long, is I've spread my white. Now I'm going to... Redo my black, and then I'm going to pause in between, and then I'll let you guys see that. We'll talk for a second, and then I'll pause again and add the color, and then we'll go from there. And hopefully I won't forget again. All right. I'll be back. All right. Black colors applied. Let me do a quick torch. Now I'm going to apply the color. I'll pause you and I'll be back. All right. The color has applied. I have done my little wispy, wrinkly things. And I decided while I was doing those, I was going to do some black as well. Um, I don't know. You know, why not? It's there. Let's try it. Now, where's my skewer? Okay, time to askew. I still can't believe I forgot to do that. All is well, though. Say la vie, right? I'm going to do a little bit this way. I'm not too, too concerned about getting all, ooh, all the way to the sides because that's going to get dumped off anyways. Um. All right, let's do it. Let's do bubbles. <laughs> There's a lot of paint on here. I don't, I'm not even going to use any of it to get anything off because it is truly not needed.
seeing some mixtures and I'm seeing some river river things for sure. I'll have to see how this dries. I'm, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up given the fact that um, it's not all against the black, you know? That makes a, a huge, huge difference, so we shall see. Let's stretch that out a little more into the corner over there. I'm going to drop some of that off. Just recentering some of this. Okay. Definitely, uh, I think I like it. I think I do. Yeah. I can see all the colors. And the red's really growing on me. It's actually a, a bronze color. It's, it's definitely not red. But that it looks more just like a bronzy metallic or something. And I think that um, that kind of softens a little bit. So we'll pop a few more bubbles. Make sure I don't have any boogies anywhere. Definitely missing my black. So I just kind of did a close uh, uh, torch of that, and that makes some of the black pop up. Do that in a few areas for a little bit of an accent. Just for some interest, you know. my sides and I'll bring you down. All right, I'm back. I had to clean up. There's so much paint left on the table from when I scraped the original that um, I had to move it. So that's my dog in the background. I apologize. I moved it into my kitchen so I could clean up that table. So if you see different background, that's why. Okay. So I... To bring up a little more black, I torched it uh, pretty close to kind of get the the black areas. Just trying to do a little little shadowing, I guess. So in some of these, you can definitely see the other pearl colors. Um, yep, that's my other dog, Bean. Um, so I have my rivers, like I like, and there are also. The pearl colors, but I don't think you can see it. Maybe like right here, there's um a little bit of the yellow. They're kind of hard to see if you look straight on. Like right here, um, I know there's some in there. I just can't tell what colors they are. But all in all, I mean, for the white background, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks it looks good. I think it's going to dry really well. Um. So kind of excited from that perspective. There's a kind of a side view without, well, without most of the glares. Here is the first, I think it's called um, Pearlesque River, Pearlescent River. I don't know. I think it's one, one, 126. Yeah, I think it's 126. This is a 
the dried results on it. Um, you can definitely see some of the the colors mixed in together. I guess I should probably turn my phone the right way. Um, so I like this. I did do some of the the closer torching, the heavier torching, like in here, to kind of get just a little more shadowing, a little more black. This one is video 127. So I made the black um, initial pores a tad smaller. And I think I like them a little bigger. Um, more of the shadowing. Got some some little cells here. In fact, I got quite a few cells on this other one I wasn't, was not expecting, don't know how or why they came up. And this was all, this wasn't torching. And they just popped up. So I'm like, well, okay. So this is video 127. A little bit different, but I think that is because of the size of the, um, the initial black, I'm sorry, the, the um, pearlescent paints that I put down, so. Okay, well this video is just way too long, so sorry for that initial screw up and having to scrape and redo, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will post a dried result of the other one in the next video. Bye.